Now we'll talk about uh, the ruby laser. The ruby laser was first developed by T. Maiman in 1916. Ruby laser is a single crystal of a ruby rod of length 10 cm and 0.8 cm in diameter. It is surrounded by a flash lamp and this is a mirror. This is a mirror. A ruby is a crystal of aluminium oxide. You can see the switch here, the power supply, your trigger electrode and you got your high intensity flash lamps, your ruby rod. And this one is a reflective cylinder. And this is a mirror of 100% reflective mirror and it's 95% reflective mirror. So this one is your ground stage or your laser beam. You should have your short lived excited state and long lived excited state. Your laser light is here. So a ruby is a crystal of aluminium oxide in which some of the aluminium ions are replaced by the chromium ions. The opposite ends of the ruby rod are flat and parallel. One end is fully silvered, the other end is partially silvered, semi-transparent. The ruby rod is surrounded by a helical xenon flash tube which provides the pumping light to raise the chromium ions to upper energy level. You are able to see the half silver and it is a fully reflective mirror. So it's coherent output beam. Here is the laser. In this xenon flash tube, each flash lasts several milliseconds and in each flash a few thousand joules of energy is consumed. The simplified energy level diagrams of chromium ions in a ruby laser indicating appropriate excitation and decay. In normal state, most of the chromium ions are in the E1 stage or ground stage. When the ruby rod is irradiated by a flash of light, the 5500 Armstrong radiation photons are absorbed by the chromium ions which are pumped to the excited state E3. You are able to see from ground state it go to the E3 state and radiation less radi transition it will come to E2 state it is a metastable state and it will move to the ground state by emitting 6943 angstrom of laser. As indicated, the excited ion gives up part of its energy to the crystal lattice and decay without giving any radiation to the metastable state, E2. Since the state E2 has a much longer lifetime, 10 power minus 3 seconds, the number of ions in the state goes on increasing. Here. This population inversion is achieved between the states of E2 and E1. When the so we got lot of uh, ions here when compared to here. The excited ion from the metastable state E2 drops down spontaneously to the ground state E2. It emits a photon of wavelength 6943 Armstrong. And the photon travels through the ruby rod and is reflected back and forth by the silver ends until it stimulates other excited ion. And it causes it to uh, emit a fresh photon in phase with the stimulating photon. Thus the reflection will amount to the additional stimulated emission so the amplification by stimulated emission happen.
So automatically this stimulated emission is the laser transition. Finally a pulse of red light of wavelength 1640 angstrom emerges to the partially silvered end of the crystal.